CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Science for class 7 entitled Science This is lesson 18 Wastewater Story from page 220 to page 230 Let's listen to lesson 18 Wastewater Story Page 220 All of us use water in our homes and make it dirty. Dirty? Are you surprised? Rich in lather, mixed with oil, black-brown water that goes down the drains from sinks, showers, toilets, laundries is dirty. It is called wastewater. This used water should not be wasted. We must clean it up by removing pollutants. Have you ever thought where the wastewater goes and what happens to it? 18.1 Water Our Lifeline Clean water is a basic need of human being. Let us make a mind map of the many uses of clean water. Activity 18.1 We have given one example of the use of clean water. You can add many more. Here we have made a mind map. At the center is clean water put to use. One of the uses is drinking. You have to fill in at least three more uses. Clean water that is fit for use is unfortunately not available to all. It has been reported that more than one billion of people have no access to safe drinking water. This accounts for a large number of water-related diseases and even deaths. People even children walk for several kilometers to collect clean water, as you read in Chapter 16. Is it not a serious matter for human dignity? You have studied in Chapter 16 about the increasing scarcity of fresh water due to population growth, pollution, industrial development, mismanagement and other factors. Realizing the urgency of the situation on the World Water Day on 22nd March 2005, the General Assembly of the United Nations proclaimed the period 2005 to 2015 as the International Decade for Action on Water for Life. All efforts made during this decade aim to reduce by half the number of people who do not have access to safe drinking water. There has been perceptible progress in the direction of the aim, but there is still a lot to achieve. Cleaning of water is a process of removing pollutants before it enters a water body or is reused. This process of wastewater treatment is commonly known as sewage treatment. It takes place in several stages. Page 221 18.2 What is sewage? Sewage is wastewater released by homes, industries, hospitals, offices and other users. It also includes rainwater that has run down the street during a storm or heavy rain. The water that washes off roads and rooftops carries harmful substances with it. Sewage is a liquid waste. Most of it is water which has dissolved and suspended impurities. Activity 18.2 Locate an open drain near your home, school or on the roadside and inspect water flowing through it. Record, colour, odour and any other observation. 
discuss with your friends and your teacher and fill up the table 18.1 table 18.1 containment survey in this table we have five columns and three rows in the first column we have serial number in the second column we have type of sewage in the third column we have point of origin in the fourth column you have to fill in contaminants in the fifth column you have to fill in any other remark 1 sludge water point of origin is kitchen 2 foul waste point of origin is toilets 3 trade waste point of origin is industrial and commercial organizations we know that sewage is a complex mixture containing suspended solids organic and inorganic impurities nutrients saprophytes and disease causing bacteria and other microbes these include the following organic impurities which are human feces animal waste oil urea or urine pesticides herbicides fruit and vegetable waste etc inorganic impurities these are nitrates phosphates metals nutrients these are phosphorus and nitrogen bacteria such as vibrio cholera which causes cholera and salmonella parotify which causes typhoid other microbes such as protozoans which cause dysentery 18.3 water freshens up an eventful journey in a home or a public building generally one set of pipes brings clean water and another set of pipes takes away waste water imagine that we could see through the ground we would observe a network of big and small pipes called sewers forming the sewage it is like a transport system that carries sewage from the point of being produced to the point of disposal that is treatment plant page 222 manholes are located at every 50 meter to 60 meter in the sewage at the junction of two or more sewers and at points where there is a change in direction activity 18.3 study the sewage route in your home or school or building do the following 1 make a line diagram of the sewage route 2 walk down the street or survey the campus to find the number of manholes 3 if possible observe open drain and record which living organisms are found in and around it in case you do not have a sewage system in your locality find out how sewage is being disposed of treatment of polluted water perform the following activity it will help you understand the processes that take place at the wastewater treatment plant activity 18.4 divide yourself into groups to perform the activity record observations at each stage 1 fill a large glass jar 3/4 full of water add some dirty organic matter such as grass pieces or orange peels a small amount of detergent and a few drops of an ink or any color 2 cap the jar shake it well and let the mixture stand in the sun for 2 days 3 after 2 days shake the mixture and pour a small sample into test tube label 
the test tube before treatment sample 1. How does it smell? 4. Use an aerator from an aquarium to bubble air to the sample in the glass jar. Allow several hours for aeration. Leave the aerator attached overnight. If you do not have an aerator, use a mechanical stirrer or a mixer. You may have to stir it several times. 5. The next day, when aeration is complete, pour another sample into a second test tube. Label it as after aeration sample 2. 6. Fold a piece of filter paper to form a cone. Wet the paper with tap water and then insert the cone in a funnel. Mount the funnel on a support, as you have learned in class 6. 7. Place layers of sand, fine gravel and finally medium gravel in the funnel. You can observe this in figure 18.2. An actual filtration plant does not use filter paper, but the sand filter is several meters deep. 8. Pour the remaining aerated liquid through the filter into the beakers. Do not allow the liquid to spill over the filter. If the filtered liquid is not clear, filter it a few times till you get clear water. 9. Pour a sample of the filtered water into a third test tube, labelled Filtered Sample 3. Page 223. 10. Pour another sample of the filtered water into a fourth test tube. Add a small piece of a chlorine tablet. Mix well until the water is clear. Label the test tube chlorinated sample 4. 11. Observe carefully the samples in all the test tubes. Do not taste, just smell them. Now, answer the following questions. A. What changes did you observe in the appearance of the liquid after aeration? B. Did aeration change the odour? C. What was removed by the sand filter? D. Did chlorine remove the colour? E. Did chlorine have an odour? Was it worse than that of the wastewater? Figure 18.2 Filtration Process Here we can observe a funnel. The funnel has been kept over a jar. Water is being poured inside the funnel for filtration. 18.4 Wastewater Treatment Plant or WWTP Treatment of wastewater involves physical, chemical and biological processes which remove physical, chemical and biological matter that contaminates the wastewater. 1. Wastewater is passed through bar screens. Large objects like rags, sticks, cans, plastic packets, napkins are removed. You can observe this in figure 18.3. Figure 18.3 Bar screen The bar screen is helping to filter large objects from the water. 2. Water then goes to a grit and sand removal tank. The speed of the incoming wastewater is decreased to allow sand, grit and pebbles to settle down. You can observe this in figure 18.4. Figure 18.4 Grit and sand removal tank. 3. The water is then allowed to settle in a large tank, which is sloped towards the middle. Solids like pieces settle at the bottom and are removed with a scraper. This is the sludge. A skimmer 
removes the floatable solids like oil and grease. Water so cleared is called clarified water. Figure 18.5 Water Clarifer Page 224 The sludge is transferred to a separate tank where it is decomposed by the anaerobic bacteria. The biogas produced in the process can be used as fuel or can be used to produce electricity. 4. Air is pumped into the clarified water to help aerobic bacteria to grow. Bacteria consume human waste, food waste, soaps and other unwanted material still remaining in clarified water. You can observe this in figure 18.6. Figure 18.6 Editor After several hours, the suspended microbes settle at the bottom of the tank as activated sludge. The water is then removed from the top. The activated sludge is about 97% water. The water is removed by sand drying beds or machines. Dried sludge is used as manure, returning organic matter and nutrients to the soil. The treated water has a very low level of organic material and suspended matter. It is discharged into a sea, a river or into the ground. Nature cleans it up further. Sometimes it may be necessary to disinfect water with chemicals like chlorine and ozone before releasing it into the distribution system. Become an active citizen Waste generation is a natural part of human activity. But we can limit the type of waste and quantity of waste produced. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. The water in a river is cleaned naturally by processes that are similar to those adopted in a wastewater treatment plant. Did you know? It has been suggested that we should plant eucalyptus trees all along sewage ponds. These trees absorb all surplus wastewater rapidly and release pure water vapor. Page 225 Often, we have been repelled by offensive smell. The sight of open drains is disgusting. The situation worsens in the rainy season when the drains start overflowing. We have to wade through the mud pools on the roads. Most unhygienic and unsanitary conditions prevail. Flies, mosquitoes and other insects breed in it. You can be an enlightened citizen and approach the municipality or the Gram Panchayat. Insist that the open drains are covered. If the sewage of any particular house makes the neighborhood dirty, you should request them to be more considerate about others' health. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli is next to it. Don't add to the load of WWTP. Paheli wonders how. 18.5 Better Housekeeping Practices One of the ways to minimize or eliminate waste and pollutants at their source is to observe what you are releasing down the drain. 1. Cooking oil and fats should not be thrown down the drain. They can harden and block the pipes. In an open drain, the fats clog the soil pores, reducing its effectiveness in filtering water. Throw oil and fats in the dustbin. Figure 18.7 Do not throw everything in the sink. In the first picture, a woman is throwing waste in the sink. This is wrong. In the second picture, we can observe her 
throwing the waste in the dustbin. This is right. Page 226. In the year 2016, the Government of India has initiated a new mission known as Swachh Bharat, under which a lot of drives such as proper sewage disposal and providing toilets for everyone have been started. Vermi Processing Toilet A design of a toilet in which humans' excreta is treated by earthworms has been tested in India. It has been found to be a novel, low-water-use toilet for safe processing of human waste. The operation of the toilet is very simple and hygienic. The human excreta is completely converted to wormy cakes, a resource much needed for soil. 18.6. Sanitation and Disease Poor sanitation and contaminated drinking water is the cause of a large number of diseases. Let us observe our own country. A vast number of our people are still without sewage facilities. Where do they relieve themselves? A very large fraction of our people defecates in the open, on dry river beds, on railway tracks, near fields, and many a time directly in water. Untreated human excreta is a health hazard. It may cause water pollution and soil pollution. Both the surface water and ground water get polluted. Ground water is a source of water for wells, tube wells, springs and many rivers as you learned in chapter 16. Thus, it becomes the most common route for waterborne diseases. They include cholera, typhoid, polio, meningitis, hepatitis and dysentery. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. Bojo wants to know how sewage is disposed of in an aeroplane. 18.7 Alternative Agreement for Sewage Disposal To improve sanitation, low-cost on-site sewage disposal systems are being encouraged. Examples are septic tanks, chemical toilets, composting pits. Septic tanks are suitable for places where there is no sewage system, for hospitals, isolated buildings or a cluster of four to five houses. Some organizations offer hygienic on-site human waste disposal technology. These toilets do not require scavenging. Excreta from the toilet seats flow through covered drains into a biogas plant. The biogas produced is used as a source of energy. 18.8 .8, Sanitation at Public Places In our country, fairs are organized periodically. A large number of people participate in them. In the same way, railway stations, bus depots, airports, hospitals are very busy places. Thousands of people visit them daily. Large amount of waste is generated here. Page 227 It must be disposed of properly, otherwise epidemics could break out. The government has laid down certain standards of sanitation, but unfortunately they are not strictly enforced. However, all of us can contribute in maintaining sanitation at public places. We should not scatter litter anywhere. If there is no dustbin in sight, we should carry the litter home and throw it in the dustbin. Conclusion We all have a role to play in keeping our environment clean and healthy. You must realize your responsibility in maintaining the water sources in a healthy state. Adopting good sanitation practices should be our way of life. As an agent of change, your individual initiative will make a great difference. Influence others with your energy, ideas 
and optimism. A lot can be done if people work together. There is great power in collective action. Mahatma Gandhi said, No one need to wait for anyone else to adopt a humane and enlightened course of action. Keywords Aeration Aerobic bacteria Anaerobic bacteria Biogas Contaminant Sanitation Sewage Sewer Sewerage Sludge Wastewater What you have learnt 1. Used water is wastewater. Wastewater could be reused. 2. Wastewater is generated in homes, industries, agricultural fields and in other human activities. This is called sewage. 3. Sewage is a liquid waste which causes water and soil pollution. 4. Wastewater is treated in a sewage treatment plant. 5. Treatment plants reduce pollutants in wastewater to a level where nature can take care of it. 6. Where underground sewage systems and refuse disposal systems are not available, the low-cost on-site sanitation systems can be adopted. 7. Byproducts of wastewater treatment are sludge and biogas. 8. Open drain system is a breeding place for flies, mosquitoes and organisms which cause diseases. 9. We should not defecate in the open. It is possible to have safe disposal of excreta by low-cost methods. Page 228 Exercises 1. Fill in the blanks A. Cleaning of water is a process of removing blank B. Wastewater released by houses is called blank C. Dried blank is used as manure. D. Drains get blocked by blank and blank. 2. What is sewage? Explain why is it harmful to discharge untreated sewage into rivers or seas. 3. Why should oils and fats be not released in the drain? Explain. 4. Describe the steps involved in getting clarified water from wastewater. 5. What is sludge? Explain how it is treated. 6. Untreated human excreta is a health hazard. Explain. 7. Name two chemicals used to disinfect water. 8. Explain the function of bar screens in a wastewater treatment plant. 9. Explain the relationship between sanitation and disease. 10. Outline your role as an active citizen in relation to sanitation. 11. Here is a crossword puzzle. Good luck! Page 229 Across 3. Liquid wastewater products This is a six-letter word. 4. Solid waste extracted in sewage treatment This is a six-letter word. 6. A word 
related to hygiene. This is a ten letter word. Eight. Wastewater discharged from human body. This is a seven letter word. Down. One. Used water. This is a ten letter word. Two. A pipe carrying sewage. This is a five letter word. Five. Microorganisms which causes cholera. This is an eight letter word. Seven. A chemical to disinfect water. This is a five letter word. Twelve. Study the following statements about ozone. A. It is essential for breathing of living organisms. B. It is used to disinfect water. C. It absorbs ultraviolet rays. D. Its proportion in air is about 3%. Which of these statements are correct? 1. A, B and C. 2. B and C. 3. A and D. 4. All 4. Extended Learning Activities and Projects 1. Construct a crossword puzzle of your own using the keywords. 2. Then and now. Talk to your grandparents and other elderly people in the neighborhood. Find out the sewage disposable systems available to them. You can also write letters to people living in far off places to get more information. Prepare a brief report on the information you collected. 3. Visit a sewage treatment plant. It could be as exciting and enriching as a visit to a zoo, a museum or a park. To guide your observation, here are a few suggestions. Record in your notebook, place, date, time, name of the official at the plant, guide or teacher. Page 230 A. The location of the sewage plant B. Treatment capacity C. The purpose of screening as the initial process. D. How is air bubbled through the aeration tank? E. How safe is the water at the end of the treatment? How is it tested? F. Where is the water discharged after treatment? G. What happens to the plant during heavy rains? H. Is biogas consumed within the plant or sold to other consumers? I. What happens to the treated sludge? J. Is there any special effort to protect nearby houses from the plant? K. Other observations. For more information, consult Millennial Development Goals http colon slash slash www dot un dot org slash millennium goals slash water for life international decade for action http colon slash slash www dot un dot org slash water for life decade slash http colon slash slash www dot cep dot unep dot org slash pubs slash tech reports 
slash tr four three e n slash household percentage twenty systems dot h t m by providing clean water and sanitation to the poorest people on the planet, we can reduce poverty and suffering and ensure education for all children. UNICEF statement said this an early engineering feat in this valley civilization one of the ancient civilizations harappa and mohenjodaro had perhaps the world's first urban sanitation system within the city individual houses or groups of houses obtained water from wells there was a separate room for bathing and wastewater was directed to the covered drains which lined the major streets the oldest toilet made of bricks is about 4500 years old the chapter 18 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here this book also ends here narrator akash ahuja producer Vandana Arimardan presented by C I E T N C E R T New Delhi India